The most awkward thing about this list is I think the biggest crush of your life was Bob Dylan, but I think we now know he's your father. It's okay, you know, people, usually girls, idolize their fathers. So that's okay. We, don't, we won't say it's creepy. You didn't know better that he was your heart's to try because you just adored him. But that's the only weird thing, you know. Okay, but uh, well, well, the list, the thing is, is all these men are very shallow. And they've all tossed you aside, you know. Some made promises, but the thing is, they're all actors. They pretend to be in love, darling. So, you know, is he an onion? Is he an onion? You know, schnitzel, schnitzels. You know, they're all actors. You know, falling in love with actors. So don't these men really care about you, and some of them are very shallow. So I, you know, we reached out to several, you know, because you know, we want you with a good man, not just you know, a face and an ass. We want you. Oh, Lord, sorry. May the heavens forgive me. But uh, we want you with someone you know that actually cares about you, because you you're unstable on your feet. You're gonna have to have brain surgery on your melon and you know and we hoped and prayed you know they know how to do cpr any of these men but unfortunately you know they've all paired off they've moved on you know because uh, they weren't that interested and like i said you've gotten very ethnic you're very jewish you know and, and most of them weren't real but it's my job to find you somebody real and special I think the biggest heartbreaker was Mr. Adams. He told you, you know, to, to go be with Brad Pitt. He said that, you know, he said, to, you know, go be with Brad Pitt. And then Brad Pitt was like, eh, he found somebody else, you know. And, uh, and, and most of these men are obsessed with imitations of you that are already making lots of money. And you're not making any money. And, oh, like I said, you're falling apart. You know, you need to nip, tuck, tuck, nip, knock, tip. Luckily, I can cover myself up. I don't have to do this. But all the women, you know, at, at the Met Gala were very, you know, these are the, those are the kind of, these men are looking for women like that. And you're not that. You know, you're sick. You know, you're gonna, you, your dad puts you up for Depends commercials, you know. Cover girls telling you you need to use a filter. Cause you're that ugly you know basically all a lot of these men have told you you're ugly or your boobs are saggy and you know um, so I, I have to tell you they're all letdowns and actors so i um you know i think um there's some unmentionables on here but we, i don't even want to you could mention a couple other names to me but let me tell you the actors they don't love you the act for your daddy your dad makes money off of it is my job, Yenta, to find you a man. Even if I have to go to Palestine and find you a real prince. They might treat women better than these shallow hows. I mean, who makes fun of a lady who's sick? You know. So I think that, it, you know, I, I do apologize. We will try our, our absolute best. Our absolute best. But the bloom is off the rose. You're 41. You know, and you, your, the uterus is probably going to have to be duct taped in there, you know. And you can't even have an orgasm right now because of all the sexual trauma a lot of these men have given you. And the, and the women. So, um, you are not looking like uh, the show pony or the, the pride and joy of America that anyone wants to struggle. A schmuck, you know. So, uh, schmuck, schmuck, schmuck. Schlup, excuse me. No one wants to slup you right now. Schlup. Excuse me, Miss Doug. So anyhow, um, so what I'm saying is the shallow. And they're not real. So don't, you can't really get upset with men that don't really love you. 
and then and you can't get upset with them because I never loved you from the first place. They just act as all you, you know, interpretations of the adoptive father Steven Spielberg. You, you thank him. If if you get frustrated, you just reach out to your adoptive father, Mr. Spielberg, and just say, Thank you, Lord, for giving me these hot dreams and these swelling conditions to run the race and get my ass whipped every day by the emotional pull of wanting true love. Fatal attraction, my love. Oh, I never watched that movie. It was all right. Don't do that. Don't do that. So anyhow, may the road rise before you. I will find you the most ripened rutabaga, the most finest of men that I can find for you. And I will search high and low, but hopefully not this low. Don't give up faith. I want you to love yourself. Don't care if other people say you're ugly, you know, that your tits are ugly, you know, that you're ethnic or you're disabled. Or you're crazy, or you're yelling, or you're masculine, or all you say is the F word these days, you know. You know, some of these men, they might want you around the children. All I'm saying, don't worry. We will find Mr. Wright that will think you are the apple of his baklava. I love you, good shepherd. I see you this weekend. Don't worry. Because then we'll set to check to